day, students. Welcome to our English lesson. Today we are going to deal with grammar and the theme of this lesson is present and past tenses. So today you will be able to differentiate present and past tenses, understand when to use present simple, present continuous and past simple, past continuous. Know and use present simple, present continuous and past simple, past continuous in speech correctly. And now please watch and listen to the explanation. Write down key information in your copy books. Let's have a look at these sentences. I never cook dinner. She is cooking dinner. The first sentence is in the present simple tense. The second sentence is in the present continuous tense. First, we're going to have a look at how to form a present simple and how to form a present continuous. For the present simple, we use the infinitive form of the verb. For the present continuous, we need the auxiliary verb to be, the infinitive form of the verb, and ing. An example for the present simple is, we walk to school every day. With the present simple, we need to pay extra attention to the third person singular, he, she, and it, because in conjugating that verb, we add an S. An example of a present continuous is, they are washing their car. Now, when do we use a present simple? We use a present simple when something happens always, regularly, sometimes, and never. We use a present continuous for a temporary activity. An example of the present simple here is, she always drives like a mad woman. An example of the present continuous here is, you are driving like a mad woman, let me out. A temporary activity. The present simple is also used when talking about facts. The present continuous is used when something is happening right now. An example of the present simple here is, water freezes at minus one Celsius. An example of the present continuous is, the water is freezing, look! Finally, we use the present simple for timetables and schedules. For example, the bus arrives at 10.30. We use the present continuous for a plan in the near future. We know when it's going to happen. For example, I'm taking the bus tomorrow. Look at these sentences. I watched the telly last night. I was watching the telly last night. The first sentence is in the past simple. The second sentence is in the past continuous. First, we're going to have a look at how to form both tenses. As you might know, in the English language, we have regular and irregular verbs. And this is important to remember when forming a past simple. To make a past simple, for the regular verbs, we use the base form of the verb and we add ed. For example, he worked late last night. The irregular verbs have their own unique past tense, so you need to study those carefully. I bought a new t-shirt yesterday. The infinitive form of the verb bought is to buy. For past continuous, we do not need to care about regular and irregular verbs because all past continuous, whether they are irregular or regular verbs, are formed by using was or were, the past tense of the verb to be, the base form of the verb and ing. For example, he was working last night or I was buying a t-shirt when I saw her yesterday. Now let's have a look at how to use a past simple and how to use a past continuous and how to keep them apart. We use a past simple for activities that were finished in the past. We usually use a time frame. He worked late last night. Here, last night is what we consider a time frame. Or, I bought a new t-shirt yesterday. Here, yesterday 
is a time frame. A past continuous is used for activities started and finished in the past, but we want to emphasize duration. So we want to show the other person, the other listener or reader, that it lasted for quite some time. For example, he was working all night. So we want to emphasize that it lasted the entire night. We also use a past continuous for an ongoing action in the past interrupted by a sudden event. For example, I was buying a t-shirt when I ran into her. So I was doing something and then suddenly a friend came up to me. That's when I ran into her. Please note that for the interruption we use a past simple. So we often find a past continuous and a past simple in the same sentence where the past continuous shows us that it was a continuing activity and the past simple shows us the interruption of that activity. The lesson is over. Thank you for your attention.